Hello, this is Chris Stanton Cook from Profit Train. This is just a very quick introduction to the double entry accounting system. Just looking at the basics of the system. Modern accounting really hasn't changed in essence since it was first described over 510 years ago by Luca Pacioli. It was in a book that he wrote about mathematics at the time, 1494. He was a good mate of Leonardo da Vinci's and they worked together on a number of projects. Quite an interesting man to read about, so I suggest you Google Luca Pacioli and find out a little bit about him. In that book, the accounting equation was first described, and that was assets, things you own, equals liabilities, things that you owe, plus equity, which is what you have left in the business or put in there to get it started. Another way of looking at equity is that it equals the capital input plus retention or minus any accumulated losses plus current income minus current expenses. Now profit or loss is income minus expenses. And they're the basic accounting equations that we operate with. Now the double entry system works on a debit and credit basis. And the next slide has a wonderful little table. Debits are in black and credits are red, and that's traditionally how they were written. In our general ledger, which is the main accounting book, we have a number of categories. Assets, liabilities, equity, income and expenses. Now you'll notice that assets at the top and expenses at the bottom both expect to have a debit sign or a debit entry put in there. In the middle, we've got the red ones, liabilities, equity and income, and they all expect their balance to be a credit balance. So how do debits and credits work? Well, if you put a debit entry in a debit style account, assets or expenses, those accounts will increase in value. If you put a debit, in liabilities, equity or income, which are credit expense accounts, you will expect those accounts to decrease in value. And looking at the credit side of things on the right, let's look at the middle ones, the liabilities, equity and income. They're expecting credits, so if we put a credit entry into any of those accounts, they will increase in value. Conversely, if we put a credit entry or a red entry into the black accounts, the assets or expenses, a credit entry in assets or expenses will make those accounts smaller. So that's accounting in a nutshell, how our debits and credits work. If you want to find out more about assets, liabilities, equity, income and expenses, and different areas of accounting, you'll have to wait for another little cameo video. So I hope you've enjoyed this little one. Thanks for joining me. Please visit me again for other snippets of accounting information. Take care and enjoy your year. And if you're interested in my services, please visit Profit Train. You should be able to click on the link on the screen. And for more information, you can contact me, admin at profittrain.com.au. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a really great year. Keep safe, keep happy and keep healthy.